Today we have a fantastic menu planned. We're going to make a cantaloupe and cucumber salad. Sounds like a little bit of funky combination, but it's a great summery dish. Wonderful flavors coming together. Another summery dish right out of Key West, Caribbean cabbage. Just wonderful flavors put together. Uh, sauteed string beans with some breadcrumbs, some tomatoes, some sun-dried tomatoes, and a fabulous frozen drink that comes right out of my childhood. A real throwback. We have a wonderful special guest you'll really enjoy, so stay tuned for cooking time. We'll be right back. Hello, welcome to Cooking Time. I'm Chef David Martone, Executive Chef at Classic Time Cooking School in Westfield, New Jersey. I'm here with special guest, Mayor Andy Skibitsky. We have an exciting show for you. We're going to talk about a lot of Controversial stuff. How about that, Andy? That sounds great. And, uh, and we're going to cook some real good, fun stuff. So first off, Andy, I'm going to turn you into my sous chef prep chef. So I'm going to have you cut up a bunch of cabbage. All we have to do, we're going to slice this cabbage in half just like this, and I want to just start cutting it into pieces. So I'll have you start to do that, and then we'll get working on the, uh, the white one as well. This Caribbean cabbage dish is wonderful. It comes right out of a restaurant in Key West called Island Dog. And I was down there um, oh, a couple of months ago when it was nice and warm all over, and now that it's cold here, I'm just dying to get back to some warm weather. Mayor, let's talk about something controversial. Budget, Westfield budget. Help me explain this, help me understand this. I think I understand that you just can't raise taxes. You're, you're limited by a certain amount, certain percentage. You, you can't just say, well, you know what? The budget's the budget, and we make up the shortfall, and I'll just raise everybody's taxes. Well, that's, that's right, David. Actually, we're only allowed to raise the budget by 4%, our operating budget. 4%? By 4%, which, you know, we'd like to stay well below that, but sometimes it's difficult because of, of maybe perhaps things that are mandated by the state of New Jersey or, or, labor, or labor contracts or other... other uh, uh, other expenditures that we have very little control mm -hmm. over. So it's very difficult sometimes to stay below that 4% cap. Wow, so, so that means if, if our expenses that you have absolutely no control over, like insurance costs and things of that nature, if they go up 15%, you have to figure out a way to find that extra 11% someplace else. Yeah, and, which we, and, and actually we've been done a very good job the past few years of keeping our insurance costs very low. Insurance mm -hmm. premiums mm -hmm. are, are probably better than many towns in the area. So we've been fortunate there. So we, we're, we, for the past few years, we've been working very hard to keep our operating expenses fairly low, you know, sort of anticipating difficult times ahead, which uh, we all know 2009 is going to be a difficult year for for a lot of reasons. Now, Mayor, I put some olive oil in our pan, and we're putting in some red onions. I'm going to kick this heat up a bit, and we have some white cabbage that we've cut up. Now, is that also, small enough for you, David? That's, that's beautiful. Some red cabbage. Now, you know what? Let's let's just take a look at this because here's the one I cut in the pan, and you're asking me if this is small enough, and it looks like that one's just uh, just similar to the one I did, maybe even a little bit smaller. So yeah. I'd say you've done a good job ah, so thank far. Thank you. So, you know, if things get tough and you get tired of this budget nonsense, we've got a place for you here. We're going to start to saute that around, and we're going to go to work actually on another dish, another warm weather dish that, you know, we, we always say we, um, we get inspiration from different places. Um, this one comes right out of Disney, Disney World in Florida. Just peel all this cucumber right down if you can. This cucumber does? Cucumber. Come nope. from Disney? Uh, actually, the, the, the idea dish? for the dish, the cucumber, the cantaloupe, it's, uh, it's kind of a funky, um, funky mix of, of flavors. We're going to peel cucumber, we're going to slice up some, some cantaloupe, and we're going to make this wonderful salad. In the meantime, while our Caribbean cabbage is cooking, I'm just going to give it a toss around a little bit. May lose a few pieces, but hopefully we won't uh, trip over them. So, um, David, explain again your, how this was inspired from Disney. I was in Disney World uh, last year with my wife and my daughter, and we went to a really neat kind of place. I'm, I'm a, an old-fashioned kind of person. I love old things that don't exist anymore, like drive-in movies. And uh, they had this little uh, mock drive-in movie theater that was actually a restaurant. And it was really cool, and they um, served all kinds of wonderful things. And you know, being in Florida, you eat nice and fresh and healthy. And so we uh, ordered this salad, and it was cucumber and cantaloupe, and it sounded really weird. But uh, I ordered it, and I thought it was just a just a great thing. 
I'm going to just cut the ends off of this and um, slice it right in half. And then I'm going to ask you to try and just scrape out all of the seeds from that cucumber while I cut up this um, cantaloupe. We've got our cabbage going. It starts to get um, like a like a lively council meeting here. You've got you know lots of different things you're trying to just keep the lid on. I'll say. Um, so anyway, back to the budget. You know, I saw something on television about um, another city, and the people were um, you know complaining that they were going to get their taxes raised and. It just, it made me think about the, the, all the hard work that folks are going through right now to keep the lid on things here. And, you know, while we all hate to have our taxes increase, we hate more to have any of our services diminished. And, and I, I, I can't believe year after year that we've, we've maintained such a high level of wonderful services in this town. Um, I'm going to actually switch boards with you for a minute as soon as I cut this up. We've got our cantaloupe. You just pick yours up. Beautiful. Now if you could just take this cantaloupe, lay it on its side, and start to cut some nice thin slices like that. And we'll throw it all right into this board. This bowl right here. Get a little cleanup going here. Our cabbage is cooking wonderful. You know, back. Well, back you're right, David. I mean, that's the, that's the challenge. How do you how do you keep service level high without mm -hmm. with, without uh, you know raising taxes too significantly? I'm gonna cut up a little red onion to go with this also. I think I'll just shave some nice. You know, it's it's not just a matter of the services. It's it's a matter of keeping the people motivated also. You know, you, you can have people delivering services that you can tell that they just don't want to be there. And uh, I don't get that also while I'm here. You know, I always tell people we have the best fire department, the best police department, the best public works. You know, people, they're helpful. They're, they're willing to um, work with you. And um, I don't know, I just, I've always felt very safe and secure. I remember giving in uh, a, a bit of an interview once to someone and I said, you know, when I come down Route 22, I'm putting the red onion right in the bowl here, we'll put your cantaloupe in there as well. When I come down Route 22 to pull into Westfield, I open the windows when I get into Westfield and I smell home, I smell safety, I smell security. It's just, it's, it's a very good feel oh, to live here. Yep, put it all right in there. Well, well, thanks for those compliments, David. I mean, as you know, as former uh, chairman of, of the Downtown Westfield Corporation, I know you work very closely with our department heads, and we're very lucky that we have terrific department heads that are very motivated, and they do a great job with with, with, the, with the town employees. You know, it stops at the it starts at the top with our town administrator Jim Gilday. He does a terrific job, and our chief. Chief of Police, Chief of Fire, all our department heads really work hard on behalf of the residents of Westfield. I'll tell you, one of, one of the things that I really enjoy about um, living in Westfield, not to mention that we have 50 some odd restaurants and you know great food establishments and uh, with food being my main focus. So we've got our cantaloupe, we've got our red onion, we've got our cucumber. We're gonna add that all right into there. Well, I'm glad your business is doing so well. I mean, you're traveling to Florida every other month, it seems like. Yeah. Disney one month, Key West the next month. Well, that's that's, all that's in the great, David. Of, uh, the last, uh, <laughs> last two years, I'd have to say. <laughs> See, our cabbage is getting tender with our red onion. Let me get you a spoon for that. 